uh, Livian Nickel, uh, Liv as we affectionately call her. Um, she's had a great career and a real interesting journey because when we recruited her, we were pretty upfront that you know she was a long way off playing in the Canada West game and she had a long way to develop, but we really liked who she was and she wanted to come and, and earn her spot and work really hard and so we presented that challenge and over probably the first two, three years, I just watched her transform into actually a legitimate goalkeeper. Um, always willing to serve in training, always willing to push herself to get better uh, during the training sessions and, you know, had some ups and downs over her career and, you know, never really been a prominent player, but is a really prominent person in our change room and really prominent in our culture and, you know, has really bought into what it means to be a Spartan, to serve and to care for one another and to um, desire to help the team in any way that she can and that epitomizes Liv Nickel. Um, really want to give her credit for becoming the best athlete that she could have been while she was here. She really diligently worked hard to become a great shot stopper or to you know be an option for us and obviously you know in a, a program like ours you need to have three sometimes four goalkeepers and she was willing to play whatever role that it took for us to be successful and I'm really pleased that she was rewarded to you know, go to nationals last year and uh, have opportunities to play in one or two U Sport games. Um, she's been a consummate servant to our team and, you know, we're going to miss her because she's somebody that comes into our program saying, what can I do to just, whether it's put my arm around a kid and care for them because they've, you know, obviously come into a program that's uh, a challenge for them or what can she do to care for somebody maybe who's not feeling as good or she's just been really awesome as a teammate and I think we'd all uh, very much say well done Liv, you had a great career, really proud that you were a Spartan, thanks for all your contributions both on and off the field. Yeah when I think about Shayla and her career it's obviously been a journey that none of us expected to have, you know getting seriously injured with a knee injury in her first literally three weeks of her freshman year, that was a setback and then you know, the rehab not going as well as she wanted it to, and then COVID disrupting, you know, the comeback. And so she's just had, she's had some really hard adversity to overcome. And I think a lot of lesser people would have said, you know, why am I still doing this? My knee's not great. And, you know, maybe probably not gonna play very much, but faithfully Shayla has showed up. She's been part of a team and part of a generation that had to overcome lots of adversity corporately. And then she epitomizes you know, facing adversity and overcoming it uh, individually. Uh, to be a nursing student is a handful. To be a student athlete that's also a, studying to be a nurse is commendable and inspiring. And Shayla's done all that. And I know that it's been hard. I know that, you know, juggling clinical and labs and all the different expectations that program puts on, uh, on their students. To see her graduate as a student athlete, to see her actually play probably her best soccer in her five years. and. Never complained about playing time, always you know, willing to give whatever it took, play whatever role in training that we needed her to play. Uh, she's an amazing servant. She's got a great future in front of her and we're so proud that she was a Spartan and a member of our family. And she'll be missed because she's really loved within our change room and within the girls. And uh, we're just super excited to see what uh, God wants to do with Shayla's life. What a tremendous young lady. Teresa Hicks has um, been an awesome player and person in our program over the last five years and you know we don't really know yet if she's coming back we're kind of hint hint we're welcoming her back if she chooses but obviously you know she's got a bright future in front of her but when I think of Teresa obviously didn't come into our program in the best state having brought a, a knee injury she picked up in her final youth career and so that was frustrating COVID was obviously part of every athlete's story in the last two, three years and overcoming that and then getting past COVID, we're allowed to play and then she carried a different knee injury into the season and never really got going. But I credit Teresa because she's found ways, not just to be a meaningful teammate, but to be a teammate that embodies what we want to be at, at you know, Spartan Athletics, somebody who's serving, somebody who's willing to go give back to the community, somebody who's a great teammate and, you know, other teammates can put their, their head on her shoulder and you know, when they're going through tough times. She's always been there for her teammates because obviously she's had a different role. And I've been uh, overjoyed to watch her get some minutes this, this fall and you know, play some, some contributing factors in some of the early games. And I you know, hope there's another 
four or five weeks left in this year if this is end, ends up being her senior year. But um, I just, I'm really blessed. She's an awesome young lady. She, um, she cares, she deeply, deeply cares and wants the best for her teammates and her program. I think she's bled our Spartan program so much uh, in so many different ways in the community. You know, doing a summer internship with, with us, that can't be easy. Um, and so just to watch this young lady grow into an influencer, grow into somebody that everybody cherishes. Um, hopefully we're not saying goodbye to you, but if we are, we're gonna miss you immensely, Teresa. Well, I mean, I didn't expect to do this twice for Anna, but I'm certainly delighted that I get the privilege too. Anna, you have now, after three years as a Spartan, demonstrated so many of the attributes that we just aspire to be. Um, you've served, you've given everything on the field, you've had a great two years, well, three, but two that were played at U-Sport. Um, you're a player that other teams fear, that comes out of your fierce competitiveness, that comes out of your soccer ability, that comes out of your drive to win. Um, can't say enough about what you've done to model to some of the younger players, and we have a lot of them this year, uh, of what it takes to be a serious elite athlete, and you've modeled it really, really well. And you know, while this year has been a little bit more frustrating because of some injuries that you had to endure over the spring, um, it's been a really awesome year to watch you take on different roles in different games, uh, but always the same role in the change room and in the team culture. And you have become not just a, a valuable part of our Spartan heritage and legacy, but, but you've helped write some of that. And you are a cherished Spartan. I know you, you know, had a different career earlier on in your university career, but you're graduating a Spartan, you are finishing your career as a Spartan. I couldn't be more proud. And I think your teammates would say, we got to play with Anna Dunn and, and coaches would say, we got to coach Anna Dunn. And I would say as your coach, um, what a privilege it has been to work with you, to help you go through some of the tough emotional times, to help you, you know, put some context into different situations, different games and realize what a contribution you've given. And, um, yeah, I just I want to commend you for who you are. You got a really bright future. I'm excited to see all that God has in store for you, whether it's as a soccer player, as a teacher, as somebody in high level sports, you're going to be a great coach. Um, but yeah, you've left your mark on Spartan Athletics. You've left your mark in our change room. You've left your mark on your coaching staff and your teammates. I can't say thank you enough and just want to tell you how appreciated you are. Thanks, Anna, for being an amazing Spartan. You know, when I think back over the six seasons that Aaliyah was a member of our team, I can't help but think just with so much joy in, in my heart and probably all of the, the people that know Aaliyah and big smile on our faces of just how privileged we were to have her be a teammate, to have her be a friend, to have her be a peer, to have her be a leader. And all those things definitely capture her career. You know, this young, lady that landed on our campus kind of in a bizarre recruiting way um, you know finally landed here and became a varsity athlete and in her first year got thrown in at the deep end and actually played a lot of minutes uh, in her first year as our left back and we knew that she's an incredible athlete great pace lots of enthusiasm for the game and yet also had to go through some you know um, challenges and maybe some emotional stresses of just being that young and having to face you know the pressure of being on a team that was playing at nationals or a team that had 22 year old girls coming at her. Um, but she managed it really well and she's grown immensely as a player. She has become an outstanding uh, left back, loves to get forward and I, you know there's pictures and images in my mind when I think about her career of bombing down that left side in, in Ottawa nationals and probably 10 minutes left getting a great cross in to help you know beat Laval and at the time probably slay the Giants. Uh, and she did that, and she did that regularly. And you know, Aaliyah's greatest attribute is just her ability to recover. Uh, you know, when our team gave the ball away, she'd help bail us out because of her speed. Or, you know, when we needed a timely cross, she'd get forward and put a great cross in. And she just went about her business and became an, an amazing left back for our program. Obviously, last year the setback with, you know, some of her health issues and the the trauma of a brain injury and the uncertainty if she could ever play again. You know, she's shown unbelievable courage 
to come back. It would have been easy to say, you know what, I've had a great career, played at nationals, played in national finals, um, but probably her time is up. And fortunately, she chose to come back and came back with a servant heart, not knowing what to expect. Would the doctors let her play? Would coaches feel like she's ready to play? So to watch her play a large contributing factor to this season so far has been one of the highlights for me. When she stepped on that field after eight months of being off and being cleared to play, it was a pretty emotional moment for all of us uh, in our program, pretty pivotal moment obviously for her but for her teammates and to cherish just how special she uh, is and has been to our program. So Ali, I want to say thank you on behalf of our team, our coaches. You're not just a great player, you're not just a great athlete. Anybody who knows you knows you how special you are. You, um, you glow in terms of your character and in terms of your willingness to serve. You love your teammates. You got a heart for seeing them become the best version of themselves. You've modeled what it looks like to be a servant leader, a spiritual leader. Um, you've had a great career and we're going to miss you incredibly. You have become one of those players that when I look back at the end of my coaching career, I'll be just really grateful to God that I got a chance to know you and coach you.